Welcome to Griffin's Gaming Guides. In this video, we're going after another The Last of Us Part 1 trophy, sharpest tool in the shed, where you need to find all workbench tools. Now, there's a total of five workbench tools you will need to acquire as you work your way through the game, which allow you to further enhance your firearms at a workbench. The more tools you collect, the more upgrades you can perform, with every tool being acquirable via chapter select if you have missed any on a previous playthrough. All five tools will be inside red toolboxes, which do stand out from the environment, making them fairly easy to detect. Now, we are going to be covering all five workbench tools, their names, and exactly where you can find them throughout this video, so make sure that you stick around to the end, where we're going to obviously unlock the trophy. So, workbench tool number one, which are the pliers, can be found in the chapter Billstown Graveyard. Once Bill has crafted you a nail bomb, which is part of the story, go directly forward from the table, where you will find the red toolbox on a table to your left, inside of which are the pliers. Well, every few weeks, this military caravan rides through town. I assume they're out looking for supplies. I mean, you, you'd be amazed at the shit that they overlook. Anyway, a few months back, they were rolling through and they get overrun with this horde of infected. They were all over the truck. It plows right in the side of the high school. Still sitting there with a battery in it. So we take that battery and we put Workbench tool number two, the file, can be found in the chapter Pittsburgh, Alone and Forsaken. Once Ellie and Joel take down all of the humans during the ambush at the start of the chapter, go through the shutter into the room with the corpses on the table, which again is story progression. Once inside the room, look to your left to find the red toolbox on a table, which you can open to collect the file. Workbench tool number three, the muzzle cleaner, can be found in the chapter The Suburb Sewers. Once you've cleared the debris underwater, delivered Ellie across the water on the pallet, and then gone across with Henry and Sam, proceed through the tunnel around to the left, where there will be a doorway on your left. Go inside the small area to find the red toolbox on the floor, which contains the muzzle cleaner. Workbench tool number four, the socket wrench, can be found in the chapter of the University Science Building. Once you've jumped up through a hole in the brick wall, go forward past the door you would usually go through to the end of the corridor. Look to your right to find a shiv door. You will need to craft a shiv to get through this door if you don't have one already. Then once in the classroom, look to the table across from the door to find the red toolbox which contains the socket wrench. And your fifth and final workbench tool, which is the Braddle, can be found in the chapter Bus Depot Highway Exit. Continue through the chapter to where you are outside, in front of a Fedra tank with a large white Fedra marquee over to your left. Head towards the marquee, then look to the table on your right to find the red toolbox, which holds the Braddle. And once you've collected all five workbench tools, your trophy will then unlock. So that's how to do the sharpest tool in the shed trophy for The Last of Us Part 1. I do hope that the guides helped you out. If it has, please do me a massive favour. Give the like button a click. It does help us out a great deal. And if it's really helped you out, then consider subscribing. And if you do so, please press the notification bell. So that way you won't miss out on any of our future uploads. Let me know down in the comments how you got on with collecting all of your five workbench tools. It's a fairly easy trophy. But if, see, if you didn't know where the workbench tools are, now you do. By the way, whatever you decide to do, thank you very much for watching. Please take care of yourselves out there. It is a bit of a funny old world these days. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we do look forward to seeing you back here at Griffin's Gaming Guides. I'm sorry, Joel. Could you see that button in the middle of the screen? Giving it a click enables you to subscribe, which helps us help you get more guides.